Will Dak Prescott be a cowboy after this season? I, I just have I want to get your honest take because we're about to okay. watch football palooza. We're gonna watch football palooza all summer. All and summer. I just want to see every time the Cowboys struggle late in games, and we're gonna sit there and say the same shit. Dak Prescott is the problem. Okay, hold on. I think Dak is solid. Is he Roger Staubach or Troy Aikman? No, but okay. Here's the question. Does he win a playoff game or two? Okay, here, here's my counter, though. I mean, I got, I got to put my cigar down for you right here. Uh-oh. here here's the thing. Uh-oh. Two, three years ago, two years ago, they had this offense that everybody was hyped up about, and they had this guy named Ezekiel Elliott. Right. And they had this guy at, named Dak Prescott. Do you know who they have it now again? A guy named Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. And they've both gotten five years older, fatter, stiffer, and haven't won any move playoffs. Well, Dak got either. better, though. Dak was an all pro last yeah, year for the I first know. time in his career. I mean, so coach, that's a little look, different. here's the problem with all the people that say you got to dump Dak Prescott. And I'm not saying I disagree or not. I think he's okay. I don't think he's elite, but he's not terrible. He's probably in the top dozen or so quarterbacks. And here's the issue. There is no guarantee that if you don't pay or extend Dak Prescott, that that next quarterback is going to automatically even be at that level or better. So are All you right. willing to – but here's the issue. This is where I'm with you, Coach. Is he really worth $60 million? Well, I don't believe anybody is, but here's well, the okay. thing. We're just paid Trevor Lawrence. We just paid Daniel Dimes. We just paid these guys that we're going to sit up here and say that they, they haven't done – they've done less probably uh, than Dak. Here's my thing, Steve. This is a mediocre market, period, from top to bottom, in my opinion, overall. So whatever I, we I'm do, with you. like whatever market, we do, we're going to lose. In my I, I'm with you. The market is the market. But if the, if, the, if the Cowboys have another early playoff flame out and Dak doesn't play well, if I'm Jerry Jones, I got to think to myself, I've gone as far as I can with Dakota. That's that's my point. No, with that's you. my view of it. Yes, and that's my point. Like now, now, hold side? on, coach. Let's say they go to the NFC Championship game and he throws for four fifty, but the defense loses them the game forty two forty. You have a just that, that's I they say you know what? Mm, do we do this? Look, Dakota uh, is not that easy to replace, coach. You just think anyone hey, can plug and play? I'm not sure about hey, that. Hey, Smitty just defended Aaron Rodgers losing ass because their defense lost them games in Green Bay. Apparently, all right, so. this is not Aaron Rodgers. Come on, <laughs> that's coach. My point. That, that's you, my this thing. is not a Rod. Come that's on, my coach. Point. Here, here's what right, I'm saying. Not even close. Stop, JB. Stop my point, it. Though. But, but, my, but Steve's <sighs> question was: If he goes out and score, throws for 450, and their defense gives up big ass. What are you going to do? Because this is be yeah, a third. Well, coach, I'm with you. Do Steve, I? Are you going to sign him to a third deal and pay him again generational money when you have yet to even get me to a title game? No, I'm look, that's the thing. When, when I hear some of these media members almost campaigning that Dakota's worth 60 because of the market. And, and by the way, just because the Jaguars were a little bit, a little bit reckless doesn't mean that I have to jump off a bridge either. Right, that, right. I, so I, I think this is a tough one because, again, there are two types of team in, teams in National Football League, in my view. Teams that have a quarterback and the teams looking for the next one. Right. I don't know where the Cowboys are after this, but I think the playoff run will determine what they do. Look, the Cowboys have been a good regular season team. They win double-digit games regularly. Dak puts up good, solid numbers. He may not be ultra-elite, but... But he's not that easy to replace. As Smitty says, both can be true. Thank you, Steve. Thank what you. I Steve, what I I, what look, I he's, he's better than Mahomes. <laughs> right. see, I don't even think you'll uh, see how he, I, I know you love saying that. I, hey, I'm love. just saying, like, we love we love talking stats, Steve. So that's just what I – but like you said, Steve, you got to go like this. Because during the season, we're going to be in here watching it. We're going to film it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to be like – this guy misses this hitch ball for a first down, and we're going to pay him 60 mil. And then on the other side, we're going to say, but who do we get? Who no, I'm with you. And, but look, last year's – look, he, he did not have a great first half against the Packers. No one did. But Dan Quinn's defense was an absolute sieve that first Whoa. half. And look, Dak did not help himself with that pick six that made the game 27 nothing, I believe. Yeah. So, look, everyone takes blame – but the question is, like, again, are you going to have enough guts if you're Jerry Jones to be the one owner that says, I'm going to buck the trend. I'm not going to overpay a quarterback just because he's a quarterback. 
and I'm going to save myself a lot of money to replenish the rest of the roster. Uh, and then, but but again, you still have that question. Then, who's your quarterback? Because the Cowboys Danny, don't pay him, somebody else will. Right, and Danny White ain't walking through that door easily. 